Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and I just want to share this with you. I know we're moving into some questionable times right now in these last days. We don't know what's coming. We don't know what's getting ready to go down. But I want to share this with you. God showed me so many scriptures last night dealing with his people. You have precious promises in God. If you're living for God, if you're walking a holy life, if you're doing everything to the best of your ability to please him, if you're serving him, if you are pursuing him in relationship, if you're staying connected, living in Christ, going by his ways, obeying his commandments, if you are living in love and mercy, kindness with all the fruits of the Holy Spirit working in your life, if you're doing your best, you may not be doing a perfect job, but you're trying every step of the way. You're keeping yourself in check every step of the way, every moment of every day. God will take care of you. He will take care of all that concerns you. He will take care of everything that pertains to you. Remember, God is very mindful of you. God is not forgetful to forget your labors of love. He knows what you've been doing. He knows what you've been sacrificing. He understands what you're going through. He's touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He is not going to leave you nor forsake you. God knows the plans he has for you, plans to bless you and not harm you, plans to give you a hope and an expected end or a future. God bless you. Trust in him at all times, whatever you do, no matter what's going on, no matter what your issues are, focus on God, not yourself. Focus on God, not your problems. Focus on glory, not your, con not your circumstances. Focus on your the lifter up of your head, the lover of your soul. Don't focus on the enemy. Don't focus on your setbacks, on the block, on the, the roadblocks, the hindrances. Don't focus on the delays and see the delays as denials. No, focus on God and his love for you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for who that believeth in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. If he loved you that much to give a holy son that committed no sin, how much more will he look after you? God says in his word, if a father, if a father's son ask him for a stone, if a father's son ask him for bread, would he give him a stone? No. How much more will your heavenly father give you what you need, O ye of little faith? God will supply your needs according to his riches in glory. My question to you is, do you believe it? Or are you, have you settled it in your heart? Or are you so loaded with doubt, questions, and fear that it's hard for you to trust him? If that is the case, ask God to strengthen your faith and ask him to give you scriptures to encourage you, to gird you up on the inner man, to strengthen you to strengthen you by the power of God's might. He will. He will. But you have to lean that much harder on him when you don't know what's getting ready to go down in your life. You have to rest in the Lord when you feel restless and worried and frantic. No, rest in the Lord. Um, mm, what is the name of that song? Rest, the Lord is near. Refuse to fear. Enjoy his love. Trust his mighty power. Fills every hour of all your need. There is no need for needless worry. 
with such a savior, you have no cause to ever doubt his perfect love still reassures in every trial. Call him when you get frightened. Call him. I can't remember the rest. <laughs> Mind block, you know, senior moment. But call him. Trust. He'll lift your burdens as you rest upon his word. Trust him. He knows you have need before you even tell him about it. He knows you have worries and concerns. He knows. He knows how to fill those needs, how to meet those needs. Psalms 37 says in famine, you shall be satisfied. You shall be fed. Mm. What did he say? I was young and now I'm old. <clears throat> Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed out begging bread. God will supply your needs. Trust. God bless you.